G'day and welcome back to us MTG. I'm Tim, this is Greg, this is Foundations. We're going to pop it open. Um, this is going to be a store opening for the Adventurers Guild. It mm -hmm. comes out on November the 8th, mm -hmm. this Friday. Pre-release. Yep, for your pre-release. Go on down to your LGS, support that pre-release. It's going to be great fun. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably one of my favorite products because I love the boxes. So let's crack it open and see the art, see yep. the cards, and yeah, see how we go. Just remember, if you do uh, quite enjoy pre-releases, I don't enjoy draft, but I do enjoy the sealed format. Um, this is the last one until like March next year, so mm. it's, you get get your get your love in for now. Um, Bit of Yada action there, which is pretty yeah. cool. Then you got yeah. one of my favourite cards from this set, tiny which bones. is Tiny Bones, which is nice. And that double, tiny oh, double Tiny Bones. That's cute art. Yep, nice. Foundation. Okay, let's pop this open. Have a look. Uh, the packs are made in USA. Oops, I should look at the insert. Here we go. We've yeah. got loot here and Giada. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, packs are made in America again, and the die is made in China. And the die is, oh, Ooh, it's like it's a hollow foil. It's like party colored. It's like hollow foil. Yeah. Um, hollow foil glitter, I think. Yeah, it's got gold. That's actually really nice. Red, green, blue. Okay, that's really cool. Bit of everything, yeah. yeah. But each each one is hollow foil, so that's pretty really cool. interesting. Um, so pack, we've pack. got our packs. We've got, let's see what's inside these land packs first. Oh, that looks like the. Uh, included card, which is your Phyrexian Arena. Which is again Phyrexian Arena for the second time as a yeah. buy box, as a promo with, in there. But with different art this time as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you got your planes. Yeah. So one of each basics by the look of it. Yep. Swamps. Full arts at the back. Swamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the full art. Okay. So you got Arabo. Nowhere near as good. I got one got of the, each. Okay. Yep, you've got one of each. Uh, I think that's Simone down there. Yeah, I think it's Simone, yeah. And then Lily, Liliana. Chandra, obviously. Chandra. Oh, yeah, okay, and Tiny Bones. So it must have old and new, old and new. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Who's in that one? Nissa? Yeah, Nissa up there, I think. Oh, that's Nissa. And that's oh, Nissa. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it is old and new. You might be able to tell us in the comments. Just be the young. And then this will be the and same ones, well. but I wanted to see more of these. Like, look at that beautiful colour of those. Yeah, look, to Solid. be honest. The non-foil, oh, the non-foil in that's, that's my favorite land. Yeah. I love that. The foil in Japanese, the non-foil is also pretty though. Yeah, oh, um, wow. that stands out so well. Beautiful, very, very good cool. Contrast. cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. So nice lands are lands are pretty cool. I mean, there's nothing like too crazy, you know, like step up complete crazy no. glitter foil lands or anything like or that. Or like the cool thing they did in Bloomborough where they did um, the seasons, the seasons, which yeah, was really cool. Yeah. Pilfer. Witness protection. God damn, everything's going to be witness protected. Yeah. Lathral. Lathral. Inspiration. Bloodfell. Okay. So basically, the there's going to be lots of commanders getting. Every blue deck is going to put a witness protection because why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, you shut down everyone else's commander. Yep. Care deck's guide. Hair hmm. apparent. Yeah. Getting a few of those. That's cool. You got more than me. Like a hair deck. Oh. Death touch. 3 2. Begin step if you attack this turn, each opponent loses three life unless that player sacks a non land permanent of their choice or discards. Oh, that's mm, actually that's, not bad. that's playable, yeah. Elvish oh, Arc Druid, yeah. yeah. Old school. Oh, Zimone. Hey, Zamone, nice. Cool. Yep. Armor Sword Guide and. Oh, oh it's a. Uh, oh, that's Blasphemous oh, Act. Yeah, in the <laughs> alternate art, but with Blasphemous the gold. E Blasphemous Edict, obviously, but yeah. I'm going to say Blasphemous Black, Act. Black, 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 Same thing, same, same, different. Trill. Andra. Twins. Yeah. Thespians. Strong. Yeah, I love that. Haven't Great seen any card. of the um, alternate arts, have we yet? No. Mm. Oh, Kellen? Kellen. Oh, cool. Yeah. You got Kellen. Revenge of the Rats. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I haven't got yeah. any. Double um, foil. Yes. That's weird. That slot, I believe, can have lands and it can have. Uh, so that's the. Can be any full art thing. Land yeah. And that. yeah. But we haven't seen a um, Japanese alternate. We haven't seen an alternate art like a full art in no. these packs. Look, we could just be unlucky. They could be in there. What the hell? That looks Remember so creepy. Funny, the bird, yeah. yeah, it looks so creepy though. <laughs> oh god. Yep. Um, Strokebox Raider. See the pirate says. There's so many. Hey, no, you can't, can't refuse. refuse. That's a great reprint. Mm. Even though. Oh, ooh. there you go. As we say it, we get one. Nice. Johnny's Pride Mate. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's a cool artwork. I hate yeah. a Johnny's Pride Mate, but everyone who knows. Yep. Me? Ah, oh, a little Phyrexian <laughs> Arena. You need all of the Phyrexian Arenas. Goblin uh, Surprise. Oh, hey, hey, you got a full mountain. Oh, sweetheart. Cool. Yeah. 
Look, it's been a banger set so far. I think it's going to be good for the game. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah. Haven't seen a single doubling season. No, no doubling seasons. Um. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I just want the cat doubling season. I'm gonna have to buy it. Yeah. Or someone's going to pull it, and I'll have to buy it from them in my store. Because oh, consuming aberration. We didn't. I didn't oh, see that. Free. I didn't no. see Consuming Aberration, but it's an no. old school card. Old school. It's actually a really mm, strong will card. card. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't played it for a while and you go back and play it again, you're like, oh, this is yeah, actually like, legit. That like with people a few need spells, to remove quick that. spells, yeah. yeah, it can get out of hand really quick. Firebrand Archer, great. Crypt Feaster. If only it was a uh, legendary. Yeah, so you can get it <laughs> yeah. easy. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love this. Armor, yeah, One of my yeah, favorite equipments. Oh. I didn't even miss it. Oh, wow. Is that a double mythic? Yeah, uh, double rare. Double so rare. rare and then, oh, sorry. Mythic. Rare and a mythic. Yeah. And then a grow from, grow from the ashes. Again. Ashes, yeah. Look quite too. Not bad. Okay, so you can get the ultimate up. We haven't seen Japanese, many Japanese. I pulled no. one per box. Yeah. Which is crazy. Oh, banishing, banishing light. light. Okay, card. That's great. Put it in standard. Love it. Oh, bacon of bacon. Broken wings. Golf ain't pickaxe. <laughs> Cat collector. Cat collector. Yay. This one's great. So it's yeah. Whenever you gain life for the first time during each of your turns, you get a cat. It's so cool. Yeah, and you get food, food so it's which actually, is hilarious yeah. that you're getting food to lure the cats. Yep. <laughs> Green sealed walls. Oh, surveil wall. Oh, that's yeah. alright. Oh, that's cool. My um wall deck will love that. Oops. You got the, oh, the curator. curator. Mm. Yep, can't be counted. And then that's yeah. the um Based fact down, or fiction. Fact or fiction on yeah. a creature. Yeah, yeah half average. decent. Yeah. You say half decent, I'm like average. <laughs> it's six it's mana, it's yeah, so expensive. You just it's, play three So it can't fiction. be counted. It's flying 5 5, and it's when, it's an ETB too. Oh, so yeah, if you're playing it. this, you're playing this in like a Yorian deck or something like that, where you're going to abuse the crap out of it and get some crazy Or it value. helps you in your Sphinx tribal deck, which is horrendously bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> and it's still bad with that card, but yeah. look, it helps. Uh, oh, this one's oh there's a shark. Yeah. So when this enters, return target creature and opponent controls two of its own in its hand. So funny, it's yes. a 4 mana 3 2, which is not that great. No. But it is a pirate, which is yeah. actually a decent tribe. And yeah, that's cool. Oh, right? So a Malcolm really Breaches right deck that could yeah. actually go in, and it looks really hilarious too. <laughs> that's cool. So Chaos, Burglar Rat, really nice. Lana Wars, Armor Sword Guide, Evolving Wilds. Sailor, that's, oh, that's still a cool card. solid yeah. card. Mm, yeah, good being one. able Flash to one. pay to draw a card in yep. standard or have a blocker can be or something quite like good. good. Dagger off and just tap. Yeah, yeah two, 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 one, ship and dragon. Oh, tracker's track track there. I didn't even know who Beautiful. Oh, hey, Leyline Axe. Oh, you wanted one of those. Lovely. Ooh. And yeah. Sylvan Cypher. You yeah, know, that's cool. That's I like that. Mm. That's really nice art. Beautiful. With Voltron, why wouldn't you put it in? Get it for free. Cost three to equip, but you can equip it to someone on. Turn three. Yep. If your commander's already out. Biscan, Tolarian Terror. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, they're all right. Can't complain. Oh, Vampire Nile Hawk. Hawk. That's a good it's card. Great. It's great. Such a good little card. Yeah. Claws out. Huh? One less for each cat. So creatures you control get plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. So it could be two white with three cats. Arabo <laughs> and casting one cat makes it two That's white. That's cool. Or yeah. um, in your Ren and Siri deck, because yeah. you've probably got cats. Yep. You've probably got a lot of cats. Actually, because cats are the better tribe. Belonging Shriek Mass, Mill. Yeah. Oh, there's something there. Giada. Giada. Oh, Sweet. what do we got? Oh, Refute. Refute. Yeah, that's still cool. Interesting. Ah, oh, the beautiful nice island. One. Pretty. Nice. Yeah. So no, it's a nice set. Um, there's just solid cards in it. Mm. It's a really good set that way. Um, it'll be great seeing it going forwards in standard. It's a good like uh, from a commander's point of view, commander player point of view. The cards are solid. Uncommons, yeah. commons, rares, mythics. They all have a place in yeah. most of your decks. So if you don't mm. have a lot of these cards, it still look great product to buy that way. And it's yeah, it's going to be a good product as a as a I can speak as a store owner um, when people come into the store and especially when they're starting the, their journey into Commander or into Magic themselves and they choose the Commander format or basically it's chosen for them because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what everyone plays. Mm -hmm. um, they're like, what should I buy? And I'm always like, well, look, you're not monetary value you're talking about, but you're talking about playable value. And a lot of the sets you buy, let's be honest, have a couple of good cards in it that you probably use and the rest are not that great. They're very mm. circumstantial. That's what the sets are. Yep. Uh, this set being out for the next five years or whatever it is, yeah, is much. going to be a, as they say, a solid foundation 
for new players and also players that have been in it for a little bit that don't have some of these pieces to be able to do it. So it's going to be cool to have a product that I can just stock on the shelf as play boosters because everything else will be gone mm. um, as a play booster and I can just sell play boosters and go, hey, you want you want to increase your collection? Buy a play booster or a box or whatever you whatever you can afford. Mm. Um, it's unfortunate that they're not going to be keeping the bundles in stock, which is stupid. But it is what it is. Um, look, they've got. It. I get it. It's it's one of those. It's an things. extra manufacturing yeah. point of them. But why can't they just like really, if they're going to have it for five years, have them more than they've got? Like they're yeah. limited. Over um, order. Yeah, yeah, like over overproduce. It's... You're not going to overproduce something, even if they looked at it and went, "Look, on an average set, we sell one million bundles. Yeah, make three million bundles, and they'll still sell it." I guess it's hard because really, what's if you pull the bundle apart, the difference is you get the box and a dice. This is better value. It is. Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It's the value, better value is better. and the boxes are really good. Like yeah. I give away the boxes at my store, and people love them. Like we sell yeah. boxes, and that's fine. A regular boxes, but bundles, I give away all the bundles at my store. Yeah. Um, and people absolutely love them. I'm mm. like, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, it's hard. It's hard. how much. How much money do you yeah. pay to stock, and then? Who knows? I might do a buy eight, get them for slightly less than what a bundle is so we can do like a discount or something mm. it, and that's that sucks to do it as a, at a store level because i don't get any discount but as a to help my player base out it's something we do all the mm. time so maybe there's something i can invent that way still i think if you're going to go down foundations route i personally like from teaching people at all the conventions we've been doing i mm. really love the jump start product i think it's a yeah. fantastic way to get people into it because all you got to do is take two packs smash them together and play um, well, that's going to be the new starter. The new starter collections that are very curated. That's yeah. exactly the product that they're doing because that's yeah. fair. But mm. like an easy way to get them in, I think, well, is just not the the packs themselves, not the play boosters. Like go the actual jump yeah. starts but personally. But. Weirdly enough, they discontinued the old learn to play packs where you got the thing. Mm. But with this foundations, they've actually released new ones and sent them out to stores. Yeah. So they they made a product like start the starter one to learn how to play Magic. Then they also gave us free resource to teach people how to learn to play yeah it's okay. really weird like the timing on it's stupid like they did yeah. they discontinued the product and then they're like buy the starter sets which were like the cogler and the the assassin's creed and the lord of the mm. ring starts which were horrendous to teach people to mm. play yeah stupid um they're just bad, silly bad, mechanics bad products and, yeah. big mechanics yeah useless to teach people how to play like giving someone a commander deck and say yeah. here go play magic yeah, yeah learn know. to play and you're like mm. <laughs> um but now they're like now they're like, so they discontinue and they're like, oh, no, use those. And now they're like, oh, well, no, now we're re re-putting them in. And then they then bring out a product that's going to be here for five years. At the same time, they give us a free product. And it's like, what? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just really weird timing. Um, and like, why bother? Like, yeah. I, I, I love resources and free resources are better than no resources. And it was something we were really scrounging for. But to have a resource when there's a product that's, to be honest, very cheap, mm. um, it's kind of a waste. They could have done something else, mm. um, to be honest. But